So if I just scan it. Oh, there's a couple of. Oh, oh my lord, we've struck the jackpot. Let's just see first if it's owned by anyone, because I don't want to steal anything from people. If it's still owned by someone. Nope, nope, game rules, look. These boxes are pretty big, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to move them all. Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, I would like to show you my favorite place in the verse. It is what I consider to be one of the most beautiful places in the verse as well, and quite an interesting place for when it comes to doing a bit of gameplay, making a bit of money, and just seeing what you can find. Now, this place is one of the new 15 settlements that have been uh, located on either Microtech or Hurston. And this one's called Astor's Clearing, which is a small settlement, sort of village scale um, location, which is situated within this beautiful pine forest. I mean, it is gorgeous. And it's luckily that it's daytime, because usually when I come to this spot, it's, it's uh, the nighttime, when I want to record anyway. But as you can see, you've got plenty of buildings. I'm not going to do a full tour of the location because I think it would be nice for you guys to experience it for yourself. Uh, and I will show you where it is on the map uh, in a second. But just looking around, you've got this sort of circular accommodation location where you've got all these buildings situated around a bar. And then further down or further into the village, there's a farm... There's some crops, there's some towers, multiple towers dotted around. Uh, and up on the hill, there looks to be maybe a comoray as well, a bit further over there. Which will eventually be functional, and all the power and whatnot of, you know, the resource network. So power, uh, providing the lights to these locations will be a thing as well that can be um, interacted with, sabotaged fixed, repaired. Uh, there's also this little shop, which is pretty cool. So you can buy and sell items that you find on your travels. You can pick up some weapons. I can put my weapon away. Um, and, oh, and armor, which is very handy. Now, let me just show you on the map where it is. And the beauty of this place, or one of the benefits, so we're on Microtech. This is called Astor's Clearing, as you can see my uh, current location marker is there. And here is Dunborough, which is 168 kilometers away. And then Harper's Point, which is 295 kilometers away. So technically within the this small radius, 
you have three of these new settlements. Uh, and also, over at Harper's Point, I think, there are two other unknown settlements or gang hideouts, one either side, uh, which you can find locations for, for doing missions. But ultimately, there are five settlements within the same location. And it's just on the other side of the planet to New Babbage, I believe. But anyway, that's where it's called. It's called Astor's Clearing. Highly suggest checking it out. Let me just show you a couple of little secrets about this place, which can make visiting this place quite beneficial. There is a bar, as I say. You can come here and get a drink, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there are a couple of spots, if I can figure out where they are. Let me just show you, but look how big this place is. As I say, the comm tower looks to be up there. Which, again, will be a functional thing where you can sabotage it, kill, kill the communications to the location. Maybe that way. The other thing that I like to do, which if you've been watching my streams, you'll probably know already, uh, is using my vulture. I just fly from, say, Astor's Ridge to Dunborrow and then the other location as well. Uh, just to sort of see if there's any ships worth salvaging, because oftentimes... Players will come, they'll visit these locations, they may crash, or bug out, or they just get bored, uh, or die or for whatever reason, and then log out and leave their ship here. Here we go. So, it looks like it's been looted. Often there are a bit of Dolivine or, Had or Aphrite there. Oh man, I think someone's looted this spot. Yeah, the, the loot box is gone, and then in these boxes here, they generally spawn in a bunch of... Aphorite. Let me just see if I've got any. No. That's a shame. But that's the look of the draw. You know, you come here, if someone's been here already, they will have looted it. Yeah, you've also got a few plants and things here. Now, something I want to point out, most importantly to CIG, I think. Uh, this, if you're unaware, is a, is a plant that grows in pyro. It is called the Pingala. And they give off their, their harvestable is Pingala seeds. But it appears whoever's set this up has put Degnus root on it. Which does not grow on the Pingala plant. Um, it grows, I think, on the coastlines of Hurston. On like a seaweedy style plant. So I don't know if CIG are watching, but that might need to be addressed. It's not a big deal, of course. But I figure the narrative team will certainly want to know about that. Let me just see if I can check out this other building, because um, it would be cool to find some loot. And yeah, what I tend to do is just float between these three locations in the daytime, preferably. Oh, they've looted that one as well. But yeah, just check these buildings, buildings like this with this type of interior. Loot box there with a load of uh, dollar vine and things in. I don't think there's a single one in there. And you often find, like, there's a bit of food. There's often a, um, well, I, what do you call it? glow light, I can't think of the term, and then a loot box down here that you can grab with a multi-tool tractor beam. But yeah, someone's been in and they've looted this place. But while I'm here, let me head back to my vulture. What I did notice was a Corsair and another ship. I can't remember what it was, but for just beyond this forest. Just parked up beyond this forest, there was a Corsair over there. So I want to go and check it out. See if it's, a, if it's a ship that's been left to rot. Because as I say, when the way I tell if a ship is worth salvaging or not... Hang on, let's get back to the ship. Yeah, the way that I tell if a ship is, is you know, free salvage or owned by a player is I open my scanner. I will show you in a sec. Uh, and then just scan the ship. And if it says game rules as the owner, that means that the owner of the ship has claimed or reclaimed that ship on insurance and now no longer legally owns the ship that you are scanning. So it is fair salvage and you can shoot the doors open, you can scrape the hull uh, and of course disintegrate it. Now, Corsair over there and a Cutlass Red over there. Let's go check out the Corsair. With these sort of spots, as much as there is a potential that you can come here and find zero, make no money at all, um, 
there is always that chance that there is something here, a ship here worth salvaging or looting. And there was one time I came, there was an X1 hover bike just in the uh, settlement itself. There was a C2 on the hill, which I couldn't bust open. Here he is. So if I just scan it. Oh, there's a couple of. Oh, oh my lord, we've struck the jackpot. Let's just see first if it's owned by anyone, because I don't want to steal anything from people. If it's still owned by someone. Th nope, nope, game rules, look. Oh my. These boxes are pretty big, though. I don't think I'm going to be able to move them all. Let's get my landing gear down and go and see what we've got. But this is what I mean. You can you can come here. Let's just find a bit of a softer land, a better place to land. I'm not going to be able to grab that 30 SEU box, 32 SEU. But yeah, you can come here and find nothing, or you can come here and find something like this. This is the first time I found a lot of loot uh, cargo, though. Let's just go and check it out. I'll see if there's anyone around first, because I don't want to be stealing things from people. But I do believe something has happened here where whoever owns this has logged off already. Hello? Anybody around? I mean, there's cargo everywhere. I think I have a tractor beam. I do, but I won't be able to move that. Distilled spirits. Oh, I can move it. What size is that? It's a size one. All right. No, that's not a size one. Bleed an egg. Processed foods. Let's see what else we have. Hello, anybody there? Looks like it's been here a while. You can see it's really aged. Taken on the environment. Look at all these boxes. Man, I wish I could... Like, Well, actually, I know where it is. I could come back with a... Oh, Jesus, we're falling down the hill. I could come back with... A, uh, oh, that's scrap. With another ship and pick this up. Processed foods. And processed foods. I mean, distilled spirits is worth taking, I would say. I don't know what processed foods are selling for right now. Now, we're not going to be able to open the door just by manually pressing a button. But we should be able to shoot it open. Because, as I say, this ship is no longer owned. Has he left the door open on the ramp. I think you might have done. No. No, don't think so. But yeah, looking at the degradation on this ship, it's been left here a while. I don't know how long. There wasn't a wipe for 322. I don't think there was even a wipe for 322. He's got max ox. Is that standard? We could take the weapons. I don't think I can fit the distilled spirits in there, but let's just go and shoot these doors open. So there's a bit of cargo there I could take. I think in terms of either, ver you know, cargo versus the uh, RMC. But what have I got in here? Oh, we're already collecting. Already collecting stuff. That's a bit of RMC, I think. Yeah, so that's recycled material composite. We've got a little bit of... RMC in the internal storage. So, what I'll do is open the door to the Corsair, crack it open, go in and turn its shields and power off so that I can scrape it. What have we got there? A weapon, a couple of weapons. Okay, we're quite kitted out. Um, and then, I mean, it's a bit too big to gather everything, but if I can fill up with RMC, that's, that's a lot of cash right there. I don't know if I'll do it. I won't do it all on, on camera now because I do want to show off the other locations before I disappear. And I, I think we'll just leave the Cutlass Red. How far is that? 3,400. Okay. Engines online. So let's just shoot it open. Launch complete. Rear impact warning. Deck impact And there's warning. no Comare anyway, so we can't get into Boba for this. Shields are on. 
See if we can knock them down. It might be a bit too big of a ship to do. I think we can get through, though. Friendly fire. Well, Friendly fire. after a constant time of trying to crack it open, it isn't happening. I think it might be due to the size of the ship, and they might have changed things where you cannot shoot open the doors of a ship with, you know, size whatever weapons, either two or one. If it's a, a large ship or a medium-sized ship. Uh, I'm not really too sure. But I, this is the same thing that happened to a C2 that I found. So what I'll do instead is... Before we commit to picking up any cargo... I'm going to go over and see what this... Starboard ship is. Morning. This Cutlass Red. And see if we can crack this one open. Because I will be able to salvage the full of this ship. Front impact warning. I don't know what it's doing over here. It's sort of hovering in the air, which is not a problem. We can use our tractor beam and pull it down. But let's get scanning. Owned. Yeah, there we go. Game rules. Excellent. <clears throat> As I say, that generally means... Oh, there's a box there. Game rules generally means that... Um, Front impact warning. Whoever owned the ship... Impact warning. I want to blast that box out of the way. Has reclaimed the ship on insurance, so it is no longer legally owned by the original warning. owner. Oh dear. Port impact warning. There we are. Let's go and have a look, see what this box is. It looks like a box of RMC. Oh, ultra K, ultra. Okay. Uh, it's some drugs. We will maybe take that. I don't know. Maybe one of these settlements will, uh, will buy it. But before I put it in, so, no, I'll put it in now. Hopefully we won't get scanned. I mean, that'll have some value to it. And yeah, hopefully I can sell it in a place like this. Here we are. But we'll just go and see what the crack is with this Cutlass Red. Beautiful location, though. My fa I have literally... My, on my main account, this account... Um, my vulture has been sat at this settlement for about a week and a half. And I have not gone anywhere else. I do need to go and refuel, though, because my, uh, my fuel tanks are getting low on hydrogen. So I, I certainly need to go and get some fuel. Launch complete. Tell you what, let's keep the door open. Get some air in. Hmm, a bit of an awkward spot, but there is a clearing over there, so what I might do is just track to him out the way. I don't know if he... It's supposed to be a Cutlass Red. I get the feeling he was doing something a little illegal. Oh, can we not get it? Deck impact warning. Yeah. Might need to destroy it first. Then I can at least tractor its pieces out. Let's just do that. There we are. That's got it. There's a box, so he had something in his inventory. Come on. Through the trees. Oh, he's really jammed in there. Good. Can't rotate it either. Come on! No. Okay, let's at least get this box out of it. But it goes to show, even having, you know, just 15 settlements dotted around on a planet's surface, with it being a point of interest, somewhere where people are looking to explore, there is so much potential for gameplay. And when they start adding even more of these sorts of locations, what else are we going to be finding, you know? There is a ton of stuff that happens at these places because of persistence, because of just players coming here and, and checking the place out. I cannot wait to see this place. Not just this place, but all the planets evolve with more points of interest, reasons to come to these locations. And I mean, the forests alone are gorgeous. This video is going to end up being quite long I think because I didn't expect to to find as much stuff as I did.
going to be a real awkward thing to... I mean, we could probably tractor that bit out. And we'll get the weapons, at least. Oh, what we got here? He's only had a, got a few bits in there. Small bits. Oh, no, nothing. That's a shame. I thought it might be a one SCU box. Hmm. I'll probably scrape it off camera. What weapons has he got? We'll grab it. Why not? Don't think they're worth a great deal, though. Stuck in a bush. There we are. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll scrape it off camera. I'll do a little bit on camera, but then I'll scrape the most majority of it off camera. Uh, and then we'll make our way over to the other two settlements. This is going to be a great place for one night. I'm planning to kick off my uh, second season of Zero to Hero. Uh, although I don't have a quantum drive, so I can't really get to this location... It'll be cool to be able to explore some of the locations close by. I am exploring these locations on my Zero to Hero on Twitch, but... Yeah, it's a little different. Is there something moving over there, or is it on my screen? My ship's actually getting quite old, as you can see from the windshield. It's looking a little worse for wear. <clears throat> I've had this for a while now. As I say, I've been here for a good week, and I haven't moved. Okay, where are you? There he is. Uh, let's just see if we can track to this little bit out. I think we can. Is it coming? It's not coming, is it? It's stuck. All right, whatever. We'll, uh... Deck impact warning. we'll just scrape. There we go. That'll do. So, let's just get out of atmosphere, and we'll jump to Dunsboro. So now we're above the ground. That's Astor's clearing. You have Harper's Point over there, and then you have Dunsboro a bit closer. So we'll head to Dunsboro. And in fact, it was only the other day that I was uh, at Dunsboro um, on my Zero to Hero on Twitch that I found a box in the middle of the settlement which was a player-owned box, one that they'd picked up from um, from the cargo deck. So, you know, your personal storage kind of box. And it was full of hand mineables. It had about 50 Hadonite, 120-odd Aphorite or Dolivine and a bit of the other one, which was pretty crazy. And I managed to take that and sell it. I did shout out and ask if anyone was around and, you know, if you want to claim the box, you can come and get it because I felt a bit bad. Uh, it was clearly stealing, but, you know. Don't leave your box of stuff in the middle of a settlement. Just saying. Uh, and actually, this Dunsboro, there is a few rivers around this location. So you've got one there, one there. And there is one over there as well, somewhere. So again, a nice picturesque place. And these three, I just hop to, hop from one to the next. Looking to see what ships are around that I can salvage. Looking to see what things have been left around, what cargo there is. There is a lot to do in these places. And it is just so much fun. I highly, highly suggest checking these places out. Right, I'll come back once we're actually coming into Dunboro. So here is one ship. We've got a 400i. I don't know if we're close enough to get a proper scan on it. Something to point out, these red dots... They're the comm towers that you can see um, for these settlements which I think you can be about 13, 14, maybe even 15 kilometers away and see those dots. So if you're flying around planet side with, uh, you know, that distance, it is quite nice to know that you will be able to see these things from that height. Okay, we're coming in fast. Let's just slow it down. We should start getting a better scan on it now we're getting closer. Hopefully the frame rate will remain okay. Last time I came here on the Zero to Hero, it was... It plummeted, really. It just fell to the floor. Not able to scan anymore at the moment. Has he got some damage? But there's Dunburrow. Oh no, he's fine. Do 
There is another vehicle there. Let's see if this one's owned. Nope. An Earth Rover. Which seems to be left open. Yeah, I try and do a full scan just to make sure that they're uh, they're no longer owned or occupied. Again, if someone owns it, I'm going to leave it alone. It's not fair to just come along and salvage their ship. I'm a legitimate salvager. I just don't pay for salvage. Um, again, a really cool location. This highly suggests checking it out. And we'll take that Ursa uh, Rover to the 400i and see if we can blast open the door. But I do suggest, if you are visiting these locations one after the other, uh, I, it's best to go out of atmosphere and jump than it is to fly to them, because they are quite a distance away. Huh. Can we get in there? Almost. There we are. I can always salvage this, can I? Can I sit in the seat? Where is it? Oh, maybe it's bugged out. Oh, well, never mind. There's nothing in it anyway. But yeah, another cool little location. Plenty of places to explore. Not going to spend too much time here. We'll, we'll go and check out that vulture, see if I can get anything from it. Again, I believe there are some buildings here that have Aphorite, Dolivine, or whatever it's called. One of those two. Uh, in boxes. And there are loot crates. They're just somewhat hidden. Which is nice, because not everybody knows where they are. I mean, I don't know where they are in every building, but... There are some to be found. So, take the time to search. It'll pay off. So, this ship... Has an awkward entrance for uh, for shooting open so I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it but let's at least check it out and see if we can get inside oh it hasn't got shields on okay that's interesting we can at least scrape the hole be nice if I can get in and they have an X1 inside yeah, they're not opening for me. Okay, no, never mind. Doesn't look like we're getting in. But, uh, yeah. We should be able to scrape the hole because it doesn't have the shields on. We just can't get in. Right, I'll just scrape the hole and then I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, just soft death. Let's get into uh, fracturing mode. I think the ship is a little too big to be doing this. But, um, yeah, time is of the essence, so I just wanted to come in and get it clean, cleaned up. There we are, we're fracturing. Yeah, I'm at 25% fuel now, so I do need to go and refuel before I head off to the other spot. This is probably not the most um, cost-effective thing to do. I should, you know, technically I should keep scraping the hole, because RMC is worth twice as much as the um, crafting material, which you get from fracturing and disintegrating. But it's a fun process, and I wanted to do it. I do highly suggest, though, just scraping as much of the hull as possible. If you can fill up both your filler station and your cargo bay with RMC, then you are going to make an absolute killing. Uh, but yeah, I just like watching things disintegrate. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it's giving me a crime stat as well. I didn't realize... But there was a pair of X1s in there. And it's actually giving me a crime stat for that. Let's go and get refueled. Because it's only a level 2. I can get that paid off. So we'll go and get refueled. Um, and... Oh, Jesus. That ended badly. If I'd have known there were X1s in there, I would have tried to crack it open and stolen them. 
But yeah, we'll go and get refueled, get repaired, because my windshield could do with a bit of repairing. I don't think the ship's looking too bad. Oop, landing gear. And then we'll head off to Harper's Point, and I'll show you that spot uh, before finishing and heading off to uh, back to the Astor's Clearing. But we are finding some decent stuff lying around. Anyway, I'll be back soon. So we are just approaching Harper's Point, which is the final one of the three. We're about 4,000 meters out. This one is located at the basin of a river. There's an Aurora, there's a Cutlass, there's a Corsair. There's the river coming down there. There is a bit of a strange geometry. I don't know. I, I think it's just more of a glitch than anything, but it kind of makes for an interesting sightseeing spot where we have these the floating rocks of Harper's Point. Again, I don't think it's intended, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, this is like a little, a very small settlement. Very tiny. Um, seems to be a bit of a hot spot at the moment for ships. We've just been refueled and repaired, so that's good. We uh, we can go a little longer. Ooh, frame rate. I think things need to spawn in yet. Let's just keep it a sec. Well, the, the ramp of the cutlass is uh, is open, so that's interesting. I'm not going to bother doing too much in terms of salvaging and whatnot. That's not the purpose of what this video is for. This is mostly just to show off how unique this gameplay is in Star Citizen. Like, these experiences that I've been having in 322 with um, with these new settlements, it's just elevated the game even further. I want to keep a little bit away from that. Landing complete. I mean, it's not the smoothest. But this game is literally like no other game out there and it's not even finished there is still a long way to go but what we have right now and what is coming next year is just going to make this whole experience even more interesting hopefully that corsair does not freak out too much and cause a problem but let's go and check it let's cut this out before i look at this settlement because there might be some stuff we can take kind of worrying Hello, anybody home? I don't know if it's owned. I mean, they could have just landed. They could be here looking around. They could be collecting stuff. They obviously wouldn't like someone just venturing on their ship. And if I go inside, we are trespassing. So let's just be quick, see if there's anything in here. Hello, everybody all right in here? Just checking up to make sure uh, everybody's alive and well. Anyone? Okay, let's get out of here before uh, anyone comes back. The beauty of this persistence, though, is that these vehicles could have been here for a long while. Well, since 322, I suppose, launched. Which, we're talking a, a week or two, aren't we? Because uh, that's when these settlements arrived. So, over time, we're going to start seeing more and more of these ships just sitting here, degrading. Needing a cleanup. Maybe needing an SRV to go and pick it up, take it to a local uh, scrapyard. But this is Harper's Point. I think the idea being of this spot, I think the, the law behind it, is that Harper crash-landed here a long while ago, if that's his name, in an MSR, and kind of set up shop, made it uh, his own little home. And since then, it appears villagers have appeared and uh, just made it into a little settlement. Got a nice little island over there. I want to explore that one day. I have a feeling there might be something there. But yeah, these are the three settlements that are in close proximity. As I say, there are two other settlements, uh, gang hideouts, I think, that are close by. Anything in here worth looting? That you can visit. I think they're supposed to be hostile. I don't know if they are immediately. 
we need to see if we can sell that altercation or whatever it's called. Ultra toxin. But this is what I've been getting up to of late. Checking out these three locations. Just hovering from one to the next in my vulture. Which is my daily driver at the moment. Seeing what I can find. Salvaging what I can. Taking what I can. And I haven't even been back to port. Since 322 has dropped. Or since I've sort of found this settlement. These settlements. Which is why I've still got those weapons sitting in my cargo hold. Uh, I have just gone and refueled and repaired, so that's good. My ship is ready for any journey. But I just want to fill up the uh, filler station, fill up my cargo bay with whatever. I'm not all about just making the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. I actually just enjoy doing what I, what I do. Um, if you want to make the most money with a vulture, just focus on RMC and don't disintegrate, because that's what's worth the most. But the fun that I have been having is crazy. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to loot around here. That's the seat. That might be a loot box. Yeah. I don't know what we'll find, though. Is that a comp board? Got my helmet. I do have a helmet. I just generally don't wear it. I am yet to get into any actual combat at these places between players. Well, that's open as well. But I could get on board, I could turn off the power and the shields if they're not on. Salvage these ships, make a bit of cash from them. But I think what I'll do, as the sun is going down, I'm going to head back to Harper's Point. No, so this is Harper's Point. To um, Astor's Clearing. And settle down over there again. Go into the bar, grab myself a beer. And just think of the spoils that I've found. I could literally live at Astor's Clearing. It is such a beautiful place. But yeah, join me uh, in a few seconds or a few minutes once I'm back to uh, Astor's. And then we'll close out the video there. But my word, Star Citizen is really shaping up. Oh, loot box. It looks like it's been looted. It hasn't. So just coming in now, sun is setting, so it's getting a bit dark. That's the Corsair on the hill with all that cargo. I'm going to leave it because I do still want to fill up with other bits rather than uh, what they had which I think is processed food I mean processed food might be worth some I actually don't know too much about the cargo values at this time but here we are night time is setting in let me head back to my little landing spot which I do like because you get to do a little forest walk into the, uh, the actual location Back home. As I say, I've been living here for the last week and a half, or since 322 dropped. I've just been coming back and forth to this spot. But let's go to the bar, grab a drink. We've made a bit of cash there. I don't know, I think the RMC is at about 15,000 now. And I did make, I think about four nearly five SEU of it. So we're not looking at a little, you know, it's quite a good haul. Down we go. Plonk. But one thing I like to think about with these sorts of locations is, well, a few things that will just bring these to life are the NPCs, when we have a full population of NPCs living in these locations, offering just various types of missions, be that go and collect five heart of the woods or my husband's gone missing can you check out the you know the forests for him just simple missions like that hopefully even living in a place like this one day with uh, the ability to build or maybe purchase a home then you've got all the different weather 
conditions coming in with rain, snow, blizzards, storms, strong winds. Although I think we're all a bit annoyed at strong winds at the moment. Just adding to this, to the landscape and the environment. And then the forests with creatures, boreal stalkers. Are they going to be bothering the residents of this place? Maybe there's some creature that has been pestering the, the residents and your mission is to go and clean them out or maintain the location, fixing certain things. But as the sun sets, I just finish the day off with a nice cold beer. We haven't made a great amount of money, but it's been interesting nonetheless. And there is that cargo to go and gather if I so want to, which I may do yet. Yeah. Right, let's grab a drink. Maybe not. Oh, I can sell those weapons. I can sell a few things here. For quite a bit of cash, actually. Those boots are worth quite a bit. I didn't realize I could sell just random gear here. That railgun is 1,800. What else have we got? Got the uh, FS9 for 760. This, I think, is going to be one of the things that I do the most, is just get a loot box, find what I can find, and then sell it at these spots. I was surprised I could sell these weapons. 330 for 330. Doesn't look like they're buying the bigger ones. But I'll sell them. I'll get them gone. Filling up our wallet. Anyway... I need to buy a beer. I don't know if they're actually selling beers here. It doesn't look like it. I have to grab one from the table. Yeah, all in all, not a bad day of a bit of salvaging, a bit of looting, seeing what we can find, finishing off with a beer as the sun sets. But thank you so much for watching. We do a lot more of this over on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. You're all more than welcome over there. Uh, the link is in the description below. Make sure you are subscribed. We are going to be kicking off the Zero to Hero. It's the hardcore one, but it's season two where I started without a ship. And I managed to finally get myself a power plant and a cooler, which is the bare minimum you need to fly a ship. Uh, but I still need weapons. I need a quantum drive, shields, uh, everything else, which I'm hoping to scavenge rather than actually purchase. But I'll be continuing that over there on um, oh, here on YouTube. So make sure you are subscribed. By all means, check these locations out. They are fascinating places. Especially at night time. But hit the like button if you don't mind it. Just the channel a big favour. Tick that notification bell if you'd like to be notified when my videos go live. A uh, big thank you to my patrons and channel members for making these videos possible. Cannot do it without you guys. Should we get a bit leery? <laughs> And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.